So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week two. I do these weekly, so we'll be looking at the seasonal challenges plus Eververse because we definitely want to see what she's selling. But yeah, if you guys like the video, liking, commenting, subscribing, everything really does help. So let's just get into the video. So the first one is Antiquarian 2, return the second relic to the helm, also defeat Fallen, uh, defeating them with precision final blows will award bonus progress. So make sure you're getting them headshots. Second one is Expert Expedition, complete expeditions and gather treasure in the treasure hall. This one can be annoying because personally I think expeditions uh, take a little too long, but you can complete this within the season or you can complete this within like three days if you want an expedition day or you can do what i'm gonna do and just do three after this video is over because they are long but they are pretty worth it personally and you also get an upgrade fragment so that also makes me want to do it like right now uh seekers cache complete bounties from the star chart or on nessus cosmodrome or europa also decipher the small treasure beacon available from the star chart in the helm so the bounties is pretty cool because you can you have a plethora well i say plethora but you literally just have like star chart nessus cosmodrome or europa uh, i would do nessus first because those three are usually really easy to kill cosmodrome are also really easy they're very uh new player friendly so they're really simple and Europa and the star chart would probably be the best. To be fair, star chart will probably be the best one if you're a player that's already playing, because then you can complete these two much faster, or you'll be completing them while completing these two. Uh, the small treasure beacon, I ended up coming to the star chart so I can show you. I'm pretty sure this is what they mean, the small, oh, well, it is small treasure beacon. So you have to be uh, rank seven with this thing right here, which isn't hard. You just have to play the game, uh, the new activity specifically and i wish bounties actually helped with progression but they don't so just be aware of that uh fusil fusillade uh defeat targets with submachine guns defeating combatants with kit crash and defeating guardians will award bonus progress so catch crash is really cool i really do like that one it's a lot of fun and you'll be you're going to be completing these two as well and some of this as well because if you have the star chart bounties then you will have star chart bounties that you can complete in the catch crash so these four right here easily you can fuck around with cosmodrome activities in the cosmodrome earn pro progress by completing bounties patrols, public events and lost sectors so you definitely want to get the cosmodrome bounty so that way you can pro progress this one as well lost in the legend complete a lost sector on legend or higher this one's not too hard we'll be looking at what, what lost sector it is because it is an arms so i know titans are definitely going to want to pick them up because new exotics or exotic i should say bank kill repeat earn points by banking modes defeating blockers and defeating guardians in gambit not hard at all this one you just you just have to do what you're doing in gambit i would probably stay away from defeating guardians unless you're an invader and you feel comfortable with it because banking modes and defeating blockers all of that shit's gonna be super simple and it's gonna it's gonna be easy to get this one just what i'm trying to say calibrate close range weapons sidearms submachine guns shotguns glaives and swords in the cosmodrome bonus progress for rapidly defeating combatants okay so close range calibration cosmodrome activities and seeker of cache you can knock these out because seeker you need cosmodrome uh bounties Cosmodrome activities, you're going to be doing activities while completing close range of calibration. So these three should be easily completable. And then once you complete this, you should also be, can be completing these. So all of these will be pretty easy to complete. Uh, arc of history, defeat guardians with arc damage. Bonus progress is granted for defeating blinded opponents. So just use your arc supers and whatnot. I think that's the best way to do this. Unless arc weapons also count, then obviously use arc weapons. And then anti-cabal sweep defeat cabal combatants in vanguard playlist or strikes earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants so depending on what nightfall it is because that is it for the for the uh challenges just saw it here it is uh let's see what it is if it's uh it's light blades and unfortunately no unfortunately no cabal but you could also just go to the vanguard ops and just go there see if you get a planet that has cabal if they do just kill a bunch of cabal and you're pretty much golden let's see what we actually are looking at so a posimatism i don't know how to say this it's a black and orange it's a pretty good shader if you want to like dress up for halloween 
I actually do mean that as well. I'm not, I'm not like fucking around. This is a good shader for that. It's literally not black, but it's like a black green or, or a black green and then an orange. So I recommend it if you want to pop off on Halloween. But other than that, you can definitely ignore this one. Uh, Firebreak shell and then rising dawn. I'm not looking at them. We have an ornament for hard light, which I'm definitely ignoring, which yeah. We have photodraulic actuators for the Titans, which I'm not the biggest fan of this arm. It looks cool, definitely looks cool, but it's just, it's so high up that it really angers me. But someone did tell me a really good chess piece for that, which has me interested and I definitely wanna check it out. For the Hunters, it's the nine day slash nights. This is a good ornament from Knucklehead Radar. Unfortunately, Knucklehead is not the best in my opinion, but the look I think is the best. And if you wanna go for a tactical look, this is by hand, like hands down the best ornament for it. Uh, I do have looks that I've made for this in videos and I'll have them up right now if I can find them. But yeah, highly recommend this one. And last but not least, we have the Lace Riders, which is a really cool Osiris themed uh, boots. Definitely, definitely super cool. I want to say it's one of my favorites, but unfortunately, if I remember correctly, these are the ones that the red right here and the red right here don't change color. But the feathers is really cool. I think the I think there's another ornament for this that looks a lot better, but I can't really remember off the top of my head. A uh, red line torpedo, it is a ship, which, man, this looks like the ship from fucking Kingdom Hearts, bro. We have Cosmos Darling, which, yo, this looks pretty, like, fancy. And then uh, M3D1 Ghost Shell. This looks pretty cool, bro. This does look really cool, okay. And then Playground Ride, which I definitely kind of want to get this, because it's a stupid emote, but we'll see. Actually, let's see this ghost since I looked at the ghost down there. Yeah, it's the firefighter one. And then for shaders, we have Amethyst Bloom, which I'm not the fan of this Amethyst. It's not, it's, I think it's the brown that really kills it for me. We have Gloam Strife, which too many colors happening for me personally. We have a Byzantium Lotus, which is a good purple. I'm not the biggest fan of the, the yellow. But it does fuck it does look good with some some armor pieces and then celestial dome which is pretty good silver if you don't have a silver it's also like really cool blue down here and that's pretty much it let me know what you guys are going to be doing this week in destiny 2. i if you guys saw my post i am back i'm i mean i'm making this video obviously i'm back i'm gonna be playing a little bit more uh i'm trying to see where where was the uh where was it but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below what are you guys going to be doing this week i am back obviously i'm making this video but i will be making some more content i do have to make the the video for the warlocks this one specifically it was a lot of fun oh my god i have such good things to say about the helmet and obviously we're going to do a fashion around it currently i'm trying to find where the lost sector is because obviously i'm gonna be running it because i need the arms for the titan so yeah it is on the sky dock four or five i don't remember what number that is no that's not five it's either four or six but yeah i don't know why i can't see it on my warlock or my titan i guess uh well i'll find out why later but yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below thank you all for coming to this point and i will see you all later